The sports writer Tom Boswell tells a wonderful story of an Englishman who visited America and went to see his first ever baseball game. The Englishman wasn't impressed by the stuff that you see in Sports Illustrated or on ESPN, blazing fastballs or mammoth home runs. Instead, it was the simple routine plays that caught his eye. These he found breathtaking in their wonder. When a shortstop went in the hole for a grounder and then threw out a fast runner by half a step, his jaw dropped. Was that entirely deliberate, he asked? Is it done routinely? When an outfielder made a knee-high catch at a dead run, the visitor, the Englishman, went into transports. Remarkable intuition. How does he judge its flight? When a pop-up as high as the light tower and barely visible at its apex came down squarely into the glove of a nonchalant and unmoving catcher, the Englishman was beside himself with surprise. Good Lord, he said, the man trotted to the very spot. The people in charge of baseball have been tinkering with it for more than a century and a half, and they still haven't managed to ruin it. It's still pretty much the same game set down by Alexander Cartwright in 1845, so very long ago. At the major league level, the game is as healthy as ever, probably more so. Everybody there is making money, piles of it. It's at the grassroots of the game that I think there might be some cause for concern. At the turn of the century, a century ago, in a small city like Buffalo, New York, 80 different professional and amateur teams played baseball with each other. New York fielded more than a thousand separate teams and Philadelphia was home to five times that many. The best players of today are unquestionably better than the best players of a hundred years ago and there are more of them. But fewer of the population at large have a case of what the New York Times in 1869 called baseball on the brain. Baseball's still an important sport for Americans, but it's not likely the game will enjoy a second golden age. This week we'll try to guess what baseball might look like during the 21st century.